saying all the doors were locked, but he did a pretty lousy job locking those, apparently. Rosie! About time some help showed up. I thought Mike was cooked for sure. Say, can you folks help me with these here beasties? Okay. So, strategy. Basically, if you lose Moon, you're fucked. Game over. And it may sound a little harsh saying that, but that's how unbalanced this battle is. The Lions still have the means to one-shot any single one of your characters. Doc included, even though he is incredibly tanky. And I'm actually going to have him pump, and the roar is devastating because I need to basically get as many turns off as I can. I'm going to try Hogtie over there. Doc won't do anything because of the stupid terrified status. Rosie's just got one-shotted to kind of prove my point. Now Doc really can't do anything. There goes Moon Game over. I'm hoping when this game gets released, this fight is tuned, because it's about 99.9% .9 luck. Pretty much your whole strategy here is keep Moon alive, which you actually have absolutely no control over, because even if you try to dodge, the lions can one-shot you. My goal is going to be try to CC the lions as best as possible. I'm going to... Colcock, stun, whatever I can, the ones that are charging up their big attacks. Like right there I got lucky with the Paraline, well, the Hogtie connected I should say. I just lost all my movement points. And there's no big attack incoming that I need to block. Let's try to Hogtie this lion. And I need to try to keep Rosie alive. So, if their sheer insane amount of damage isn't actually bad enough on its own, they also can inflict status effects. And I'm going to try Hogtie on the one that's charging up the big attack. Moon needs to dodge, Kid needs to dodge. But yeah, Moon took damage, so I immediately have to heal her. As for Rosie, I'm going to prime that, and that was a massive stroke of good luck. Okay, I'm going to see if I can finish that one off, which will help me immensely. Okay, I have to change gears. I need to stop. Actually, I'm going to keep focusing fire. I'll try to stun line number two to stop his big attack. Moonline is coming his way. And paralyze. And there go all my movement points. So now I have to gear up to try to dodge. Lucky stun. Going to use Moonlight. Okay, he's aiming up the biggest attack. He also doesn't have a status effect on him.
Yeah, I'm gonna try to strafe them. It's a long shot, but it may help. I'm gonna prime a dodge here. And all three are asleep, which is just this massive stroke of good luck. So I'm gonna take the time to just charge up everything while I can. If you're wondering, I did modify Kid's Gun to have a high amount of sleep stats associated with it, so that's why I'm banking on in order to just try to crowd control the enemy down. So now I get my pick of which lion to focus. And the lucky loser is lion number two. Actually, you know what? Up. Okay, did fire, but he's still asleep. Now he's awake. Okay, my plan was to actually have Boon go on the offensive, but back to healing duty for her. And now I gotta take that lion down as fast as possible. And sadly, the whip is coming through to wake him up, but now he's terrified. Moon is stunned, that really hurts. And there go all my points. Kid's too terrified. Can't use crap all stunned, so that may be the end of this fight. Gonna have her moonlight herself. Oh, come on! going to change gears and focus a healthier lion. Moonlight on Rosie, and there's the blast. I meant to use Barrage, I think. Too terrified to act, so let's just move forward. Strafe off or really anything at this point. I'm gonna pop moonlight on kid. And moon is in bed. Down she goes. So I have to get the moves under control here. Okay, one is paralyzed. That means I basically have to throw every single thing I have at the one that is not paralyzed and hope I can hold out. Freaking awful battle. The lions bow before the new kings of the jungle. 274 EXP. Doc is now level 15. Got a crap load of items. That calmed them down. Now let's find the Monty Spades. I have a bone to pick with him. If he thinks angry lions are ferocious, wait till he gets a load of rosy Garrett. Looks like we're going straight into the battle, but the dog makes me think he's gonna run and I have to chase him down or something. So, 
I see the four most annoying people in my life have somehow joined together. Sounds about right. Guess your luck has run out, Monty. Why are you trying to kill me, Monty? I ain't never done nothing to you. Scorpion Saint's orders. You were asking too many questions about the attack on Ashford. But I shouldn't say any more. It's a secret. You mean how the Saints Little Gang perpetrated the attack on Ashwin for in my people the Chipotle? How did you know that? Doesn't matter. I'll just have to eliminate all of you now. Not that I needed any convincing. I'm tired of looking at you people. Go get them, boys. 3v4? Are they no longer on his side? What's the matter with you two? Your feet stuck in molasses? I said advance on them. They're not your puppets anymore, Monty. And neither am I. What? Matter or McGovern? We had a deal. It's over, Monty. There's nowhere to run. Up. <laughs> but I'm Monty Spades. Running away is what I do best. Kid, hold your horses. There ain't nowhere up there for Monty to run. We can hang back a few minutes. Kid, I've noticed you really learned how to handle a piece. I knew you'd be a natural when I first gave you that gun back in Swellsville. I want to show you a secret technique. I think you're ready for it. This technique was invented by a man I once knew who could shoot better than all the rest. Even Coyote Saint himself. But sadly, he was a man who didn't know when to pull the trigger. Anyway, the technique is called Star Shot. It's just like a regular shoot attack, but the only way to unleash its true power is if the enemy has status ailments. The more status ailments your enemy has, the more powerful Star Shot becomes. Stas ailments? Sounds like it requires a bit of teamwork to use it effectively, or a crazy weapon. You can count on me, kid. I have come with you this far, and you have not led me astray. Then let's not keep Monty Spades waiting. So I will go ahead and equip that in place of pure shot. And I'm going to save if they'll let me through. Okay. Looks like you're ready for a big showdown. Save your game. Moon is wounded. I can try to heal her. I don't know how much money I have. She needs a bandage, which is obscenely expensive in a game where money is so hard to come by. Oops. Where's Moon? There's Moon. How the hell do you select people? Okay. I think the Lion Mane sell for 250 each, which helps soften the blow. Still, it's kind of outrageous. can't escape this time, Monty. Do you know how many times I've heard that? Face it, I've dealt a, I've been dealt a winning hand in life and there is no stopping me. There's nowhere left to run. He can run back across the line. He's gonna jump in a cannon and shoot himself. So it seems there isn't. Maybe I really should give up. <laughs> nope. You follow me right into my trap. Doc, I'm ready for our last fight. Okay, I don't know what exactly the cannon Lights the fuse on the right cannon. Let's 
so I'm going to go ahead and try to strafe, if nothing else. We can do a flame arrow there, and I'm going to hog tie the right cannon and see if that does anything. And I don't know what Gambit does. Back barrage. Left cannon's asleep. Star shot. This time, I call forth the full blessings of Lady Luck. Grant me the ultimate power over fortune so I can finally eradicate these fools. Even if I'm cursed with impossible bad luck hereafter. Monologue much? It'll be worth if I can dance on your graves on Blue Hill. Actually going to pro Okay. For a second there my rules weren't working. But I'm going to refresh all of the damage rules. Looks like I actually didn't need to. Let's see what he actually does.
two pick up. Okay, that's kind of an interesting technique, I guess. I'm going to hold that back. I'm going to heal Rosie. Crap, this is going to be a long fight if you can just keep on switching these defensive statuses. He already gained 183 EXP, 5 vantage points. Rosie is now level 13. Rosie learned Flirt. Monty dropped Ace of Spades. No. Impossible. Still wasn't enough. Why can't I beat you? Just give up already. Jeez, you've got more lives than a cat born on leap year. Or do you have another ace up your sleeve? As a matter of fact... Called it. I ain't going down today. This cannon will fire me the way the heck out of here. It's gonna throw him into the lion pit, isn't it? Don't feel bad. Did you really think the legendary Monty Spades is going to be defeated by a bunch of turkeys like you? That's just the way it is. I always escape. Every time. Even if it looks like I'm in a real pickle. Up. Oh, he said the P word. See, he's fine. He'll be in the sequel. Ow. That was... Unlucky? Oh. No. <gasps> Oh, 
And we can assume he's perfectly fine. Totally unmauled and everything. Reward 130 bucks, which is really chump change. So do I actually get that? And yeah, I can't really play that on. was about the most misfortunate thing I've ever seen happen to somebody. The Chipakwik believe that fortune must maintain a balance. One cannot benefit from good luck for so long before something extraordinarily unlucky happens. Karma. Devoured by lions. Talk about a bad way to bite the dust. Monty Spades got what he deserved. Someone should have gotten rid of him a long time ago. You speak hordes fueled by cruelty equal to our enemy. You speak words, okay? I hope that's supposed to be words. You speak words fueled by cruelty equal to our enemies. Yeah, just who are you anyway? Some kind of bounty hunter? Doesn't matter. I'll be on my way now. Kid. Here's the money that Monty Spade swindled from you back in Swellsville. I told you it wouldn't be easy to get back. Eighty-four bucks. The only thing left on Monty Spade's was this hat. You may as well have it. Received the derby. What a strange guy. Kid, he's a friend of yours? So, was it true that Monty Spade said about the Saints Little Gang? Were they really behind the attack on my town of Ashwood? It's true. They burnt Ashwood to the ground while pretending to be my people. Chipotle. Well, I'll be a turnip on Tuesday. I knew there was something fishy about that night, but why would the Saints Little Gang have to fr want to frame the Chipotle? We don't know. According to what Kid overheard, there was someone else pulling the strings. We were on our way to Swellsville to inform the sheriff before we got sidetracked by the circus. The sheriff was there. And you can bet your britches that I'm coming with you. I lost my home in the burning of Ashwood. I want to see those responsible behind bars. I ain't taking no for an answer, you hear? I agree. Perhaps it was the will of the spirits for us three to meet here. Is it all right with you, kid? Yeah, sure. Terrific. I feel like I was wasting my potential in this circus anyhow. I was born to ride horses, not tame lions. Firecracker Rodeo Gale Rosie Garrett has joined the party. Hey, before we leave for Swellsville, do you mind if I have a word with Matt Earl McGovern? I need to tell him that I quit and give him proper respects. I'll be quick about it. And this video has gone on extremely long. It's probably past an hour at this point. I'm gonna edit some stuff out to bring it down, but I don't know how much I'll be able to do. So hopefully I remember you do the derby hat next time. But for now, I'm the Hero Light. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.